Ahoy, welcome to building the Alpha Dory. This afternoon we're going to try and uh, see if we can get the stem piece cleaned up and draw some lines on there and maybe uh, start cutting the bevels for the stem. Thanks for tuning in. So last uh, video we were cleaning up the sides of the stem uh, where the table saw didn't cut all the way through and we had to finish the cut on the band saw. And the idea was to then run it through the power planer, the thickness planer. Um, which I don't think we're really going to need to do. It came out pretty, uh, the, the table saw cut came out really clean. And yeah, we're just about at two inches now. So, I mean, we could definitely run it through if we wanted to, but uh, we're a little bit tiny bit over two inches, but it's pretty super clean. There's a couple little, uh, saw marks where the circular saw was running, but so I'm thinking what I'll do is just clean it up, cut the bevel in it, and then, uh, you know, I'll probably give it a finish sanding before I put it in the boat, and that should take out the saw marks easily, so there's not really any reason to thickness plane it. So the next uh, thing to do is to clean up this uh, band saw cut. It's a little bit wavy where um, you can tell this is the new blade I put on the bandsaw starting right here and then behind that where I was using the old blade uh, that needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's pretty smooth from here forward that's just going to take a second or two to clean up. So yeah I got the uh, bench cleaned off and we'll have at it. to reduce the bite a bit. So it's, uh, you know, if it was a dull blade, it just wouldn't be cutting it, period. This is uh, some nice tight-grained white oak from the uh, woods of Granby, Massachusetts. I picked this uh, log up when I was out. Helping out the uh, acorn to Arabella boys resaw a bunch of uh, wood for their hack 
Jenkins uh, double ender project. I got one out there. It's basically a uh, three quarter scale. Basically a three three quarter scale uh, Scandinavian rescue boat that they're building. It's to an Atkins design, but it's a lot like a um, it's a lot like a Colin Archer, you know, Colin Archer inspired. So they're using lots of oak in that, and they had some kind of. Well, not really usable for them, kind of wonky uh, logs with good sized knots and whatnot in them. So they had a few boards out of those that they couldn't use and they gave me two of them. So put them to good use here. Perfect for a dory stem. You can uh, get between the checks and between the knots and get some some decent uh, parts out of it. See how just just how quickly the uh, the planning is going on the on the uh, part of the cut with the new band saw because I was able to actually follow follow the line with the new blade, whereas. Um, that old blade was uh, kind of causing some problems. Fair curve without any real lumps in it. As you may be able to see, there's a knot right here, which most of that knot's going to come out when we cut the bevel. So, not a big deal anyway. It's a fairly tight knot, and this is a big, huge chunk of oak for the stem. So, <clears throat> All right, well, I guess I'll flip it over, see if I can get the other side done, the concave side, and uh, I'll be back in a bit.
That's pretty close. And uh, like we were saying, we'll uh, probably hit this with the uh, 
sander. And we're all done with the shaping of the stem. Of course, in the old days, you'd have to do, didn't have the sander, so you'd have to do it all with a plane, or you could probably get a scraper in here. Um, wouldn't have the muscle to take off as much wood as quickly, but it would uh, follow the round a little bit better than the plane. I switched to the uh, smaller low angle plane because the sole is narrower and shorter, so when I angle it, I'm able to get the blade down to touch the wood surface. Whereas this one I was having to uh, having to extend the blade a little further than I wanted to to get it down and cut it. When the blade's out, uh, when it does grab, it tends to dig. So it'll uh, yeah, it can lift can lift the grain of the wood, or it'll just kind of drive in and make a make a hard cut, and not take off the wood that I want it to. Yeah, but I'm definitely close enough now where the sander will uh, just take off whatever little saw marks are left uh, when we're sort of getting, getting ready to put it in the boat. So the next thing to do is to uh, flip this bad boy back over and uh, scribe the lines on it that will determine the cut that makes the bevel for the stem where the planks come in tight at the bow. All right, so here's the uh, for the stem. What I want to do is get the angle that the uh, stem comes in at, that the bottom comes in at, at the stem. So I'll put the bevel square on it. Take that angle. And then bring it into the shop and mark that angle on the bottom of the stem. All right, so here's the stem. Here's the bottom of the stem where it's uh, going to be kneed into the bottom board, so the dory. Now what we do is put the bevel square on there in alignment with the, uh, this is fore and aft, which is where we took the measurement off of the, the bottom pattern. Next thing we do is find the middle of the stem that we're marking. So it's going to be at the one inch mark. And then run that bevel up till it crosses the center line of the stem. Mark that off. So 
Same on the other side. Run it parallel to the side of the stem, which is going to be parallel fore and aft. Bring it up till the bevel line crosses the center line on the stem and make the mark. Then what we'll do is we'll transfer where this mark comes off the, the stem, we'll transfer that up to the side. And that'll give us a starting mark for drawing the line that is going to define the bevel of the stem. We'll also, of course, put a center line down here. And then you connect the center line with that side line, and that'll give you the bevel all along the stem. Thanks for watching Building the Alpha Dory. Tune in on the next video when we finish marking the stem and hopefully get some more of the uh, framing and the transom finished up. Anyway, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try and address them in a future video. See ya.